Well, I had to write about fiction. Um, well, I had to write fiction because I have prevailed on the kindness of this community now for an awfully long time. And I didn't feel I could ever do it again. I mean, the people around here that I've written about in the past have been absolutely wonderful, generous spirited, great fun. They've taken everything with a great sense of humour, but I thought once more would have just been pushing the envelope too far. The transition to fiction actually I thought would be terrifically easy because I thought well I don't have to check all the facts and I can just make it up. How hard is it to make things up? Well hello, I now have the most amazing respect for every person that's ever written fiction. And it was this very strange feeling to try and create something, but unless it's really fantasy or sci-fi. All fiction, I suspect, is really deeply based on your personal life because you have to know what you're writing about. So, of course, there's an awful lot of stuff in this that, that is, is, um, is based on what I know about life and living. I was never a financial journalist, by the way, and I certainly cannot, can't add up like Kate can. Kate is a financial whiz. Um, I guess my heart is with... Etty in the book, although I really feel for Kate because what does what did drive me insane as a journalist was sitting opposite someone and interviewing them and knowing they weren't telling me the truth and being powerless to do anything about it and having to report that. And I think that's what makes you cynical and when you become cynical it's usually time to get out. Kate probably did it a lot earlier than I did. Um, Etty, on the other hand, came here like many of us do and like I did because she wanted to start a new life because her own life had gone um, pear-shaped and, and, and she was just looking for something and she didn't know what she was looking for. I suspect what she was looking for was family and she came here and she found family, like I found family when I came here. Etty also loves to cook. Well, I love to cook. I'm passionate about cooking and everybody who lives here, just about everybody, is passionate about cooking because if you don't cook, you don't eat. Not anymore. I would have done it once, but I did actually go into the catering business quite, um, uh, you know, in a very sort of minor way. And I'm not really good with the public. I don't know if that's a function of, you know, um, just getting set in your ways or whatever it was. But every time anyone was difficult, I had this overwhelming urge to club them with a spoon, a wooden spoon or something. And it's not really that they were difficult. They just wanted, they, they were used to service, like I'm used to service. And I wasn't used to being on that end of, of the, the, the line, if you like. So I wasn't terribly tactful a lot of the time. And I could see that it really wasn't going to work because you really can't tell people if they don't like it, you know, not to tell me, <laughs> which I often did. So I don't think I would ever do that. Having said that, I love the idea of a cafe being the centre of a community because uh, where everyone passes through it and everyone can connect and, and where everyone can sit down and have a chat. Um, running it. Oh, no, I'd tell people... If they didn't like the scrambled eggs, I'd tell them, no, I wouldn't be that. I, I don't think I'd be polite enough, really. Yes, it was, because um, there have been a number of times in my life when I've really felt like giving up. And if I had, I would have missed what I, have, I now believe are the, the happiest 10 years of my life since I've, I've moved to Pittwater. Imagine missing that. My life. And so it, you can't give in. And it's usually when you think things are absolutely at their worst that that some some little miracle comes along. And I mean, I know it sounds really silly and twee and naive, but I seriously believe in miracles. I think the problem is a lot of people don't recognise when they arrive. I didn't sort of realise the miracles when they were hitting me in the face. But I've learned to see miracles now in lots of little, little things. And if you can see the miracles when they turn up, then, you know, life is really, really just so special.